Robin, sidekick sports editor, here with your weekly boys soccer update. This Friday, the boys take on Hebron in their first district game at Hebron High School at 7.30. Now I'm going to go talk to Jacob Tucker about their game last week against Plano and what they expect this week against Hebron. Go Cowboys! Go. Hi, I'm Jacob Tucker and I'm on the boys soccer team. So what did you think you did well against your game against Plano? Uh, well, we won 4-0 and we just played well all around, played good defense, and scored four goals, which was good. Uh, we were very composed on the ball and had most possession, so we played well. All right, and what do you think you need to do well to win against Hebron? Uh, Hebron's going to be a good team. We, they obviously beat us the last two years, the uh, first game of playoffs, so we're, uh, we're going to come out strong and try to avenge those two losses. and. Uh. <laughs> hey Cowboys and Cowgirls, I'm John Loop, here with your weekly Coppell Cowboys basketball update. On Tuesday, your Coppell Cowboys took it to the Louisville Fighting Farmers, winning 43-37. I got a chance to sit down with Coach Pell this week to talk about tonight's game against Hebron. So you're tied for third now in district. Um, uh, how, what, what did that win do for your playoff chances? Uh, you know, I mean, being tied for third with Louisville right now, we, uh, you know, it's head to head, we've split. So, um, you know, I mean, right now, things look pretty good. At, at, at a minimum, we're, we're definitely, uh, we're, at a minimum, we're in a playing situation. So, uh, if Marcus, if Marcus were to win out, if we were to lose out and Louisville were to lose out, there would be a three way tie for the last two spots, you know, and, uh, I mean, I think the chances of that happening are small, but uh, even in that situation, we'd still be in a playing situation. So, huge for us, you know. I mean, it really, it really. Uh, we don't need help, you know. I mean, we 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 hold our own destiny. So, I mean, it's it's where you want to be. So, very very big for us. Um, you saw Hebron last time. You lost close, you know, three points that could have easily been an overtime game. Uh, what do you plan on doing? What do you plan on doing tonight uh, to uh, maybe reverse that tide? Uh, we want to replicate our game plan from last time. We did a really good job. Uh, you know, they've got a they've got a probable all-state player in their point guard, and he. Uh, I mean, we cut him loose for three threes there in the late in the third, which which really kind of it, it lengthened their lead a little bit. Prior to that, it was a nip and tuck game. So I mean, you know, I mean defensively, you know, from a game plan standpoint, I mean, you know, we're going to be really physical. I think we're I think we're one of the only teams in the district that can be physical with them, like we're capable of being, and. Uh, and uh, so, I mean, that, that's our game. Our game plan will not change very much. It's just going to see to it that we try to keep that kiddo under control a little bit. Hi, Cowboys. I'm Stephanie Gross. I'm John Luke. And this is your Coppell Cowgirls basketball update. Last night, the Cowgirls took on the Lady Farmers and lost um, by seven of a score of 53 to 60. And um, the Cowgirls ended their season with a two and seven record for districts. So after we got to this season, Stephanie, who do you think is the offensive MVP this season? I would have to say Jaden Phillips. Uh, why? Because she she's just been so crucial to the team. She's put so much effort in, and all the girls have. But you know, she's been a um, top scorer a lot of times during the games, and she's just been very crucial to the team. Very, very. Real. So, um, so what do you think? What do you expect from the Cowgirls next year? Um, I think. That you know, with only four seniors leaving this year, well, five plus Laura Beattie, yeah. um, that we have a really young core yes, of players. Yeah, I agree. Most of them are like sophomores and juniors for the most part. Um, so. And so next year, you know, there's going to be four or five, six juniors on the team. Yeah. And they'll provide some real veteran leadership. True. And they, yeah. There'll be, um, you know, a season. The season will have gone by. Right. And they'll have one more year of experience on their belts. Yes, and so, yeah, I know. I noticed that there's a lot of underclassmen. So we'll see how next season plays out for them. So, well, I'm Stephanie Gross. I'm John Luke. Go Cowboys. Howdy, y'all. This is Jenna Sadden, a psychic sports writer reporting for the Howdy, y'all. This is Jenna Sadden. Psychic sports writer reporting for the second half of the Cockle Cowboys basketball game. Last Friday, I had a chance to talk to senior Sydney Overman about her last game ever to be at CHS. 
say what you had to say. Um, go please. Uh, this is Sydney Overman, senior guard for the Capo Cowgirls. So, Sydney, what have you learned in the past four years of being in basketball since this is senior night? Um, just that whenever you're doing something, you need to work as hard as you can because what you put into it is what you get out of it. And it doesn't necessarily matter how skilled you are, it just matters what you're willing to put into it. And you had a great game from the line, uh, making every single one of your shots. Uh, how hard have you worked on your free throws the past four years? A lot. I remember when I was a freshman, I had a lot of issues making free throws. And I just worked on it um, for countless hours out in the gym and out in the driveway to make sure that I can make free throws when it counts in games. And um, how do you hope that you are a leader to the underclassmen in the team, on the varsity team? Just leading by example, and I go hard all the time, and I try to work as hard as I can, and hopefully they'll follow my example and try to emulate what I do. And lastly, what, how, how do you hope your playoff chances are? Well, right now, um, we need to win on Tuesday, definitely, but if we win on Tuesday, we, have, we still have a good chance of making Thank you so much, Sydney. Am I supposed to be looking at you or? Hi, I'm Tara McCord, and I'm here with junior defenseman Jack Parker. So, Jack, tell me a little bit about the hockey season so far. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We are 14 and three, and our next game is this Thursday against Denton County. And um... how do you think you'll do against Denton County? Um, we've beaten them in the past, so. Uh... I think it should be a pretty easy game, and you know, get another one. Okay, and uh, you should win tonight. You know, you guys have been pretty solid throughout the season. Only three losses. Uh, what do the playoff chances look like? They look pretty good. I think we are already guaranteed a spot in the playoffs since our record is so high. So um, we are already guaranteed a spot in the playoffs. Okay. So the state the ultimate goal. You think you'll be able to take it all the way this year? Yes, with with our team. I think we Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Allie Arnold with JV White Soccer player Maddie Speedberg. So Maddie, how do y'all feel you did your last game? Uh, we feel like we did really good. It was one of our best games that we played and Coach D thought we did really good. And stuff. Yeah. So are you excited about district starting up? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, we're just looking forward to just like having a great time and trying to play to our best, our best abilities and just see how far we can go with it. And how far do you think you'll go with it? What are your goals? Um, well, I guess just to like, um, district maybe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm Allie Arnold with Maddie Speed.